Great thing about this neighborhood, um, when Bryce and I want to get together with friends or entertain, again, everyone is in close proximity. Um, and so it, a lot of stuff can be a little bit spontaneous, especially in the warm weather. So if someone comes over for beer on the deck or we throw something on the barbecue, we sort of open our doors up and it's kind of a nice organic casual option when the weather is warm. We love walking to Young Street and we sort of figured out when we get there. So we're waiting for Tronies to open upstairs so we can take the kids. Um, but we love going to um, Petit Castor or going to, um, Bryce still loves going to the Rebel House when the weather's warm, sitting in the back patio. Um, and we can go beyond as well. So the nice thing is you can, well, last night we went to Batfoy on Girard and I drove thinking I could have probably walked here. Um, in terms of food haunts, love going to Riverdale Farmer's Market on Tuesdays. Um, it's on my way home from work. It's a great thing to do with family or to do solo when you just want to pick some stuff up. Um, in terms of food, it's everything at my fingertips, um, which makes it somewhat dangerous because it makes me lazy a bit that I don't extend beyond where I am because there's so many fabulous food options in the city. But Danny at Harvest Wagon always has a smile on his face when I walk in. And anytime I have a question about some weird heirloom tomato, he has the answer. So Harvest Wagon, I feel, is my own little personal education center um, and a great place to get produce. The other big one is Summer Hill Market. And Summer Hill Market is a dangerously good solution for busy families. Quantabas is great for a drink and meeting friends for a bite, like sitting in the window. Um, Seven East, I call and do takeout all the time. I'm sure the entire neighborhood does. My kids love it too, which is really nice. So when I'm lazy, which at the end of a work day, kind of need a bit of help, Seven East is a great solution and they drop off. <laughs>